Golfing World's Anna Whiteley is constantly picking up tips from players and coaches around the world, trying to improve her own game and hopefully yours as well. Today she's back at her home course, Bearwood Lakes, in England with Simon Holmes and working on her short game. Right, so Simon, we've covered the tricky little distance of 60 yards into the green, but we're a little bit closer now, we're 30 yards away. What's the difference with this shot? OK, well, I think as we walk up here, I think what you're trying to do is use your pitching style more. You know, 30 yards, I'd like to be really precise with how I get the ball to come in. So again, what club to use. It's not yeah. always just your sand wedge. Sometimes you want that ball to come in a bit lower and then release. All right, so if we sort of park ourselves uh, right about here, 30 yards. Okay. It would be very, very much shot selection. Back pins, I perhaps want to pitch the middle of the green and let it release up. Front pins, I maybe need to come in a bit higher, so definitely shot selection. So I'm going to go with my 56 for this one, front okay. flag. This really is the danger zone. You can be here in two and end up on the green in five. Yeah, you know, this, this is where you don't want to sort of have your short game cause or, or cost you shots. We probably all of us spend too much time thrashing drivers, but this is where you can save yeah. uh, your shots. So okay. what I'd be doing here, <coughs> again, a little bit of a narrower stance. So I'm sort of have the idea that I'm rotating around a fixed point. OK. Mm -hmm. Again, I want to be really precise. I want to make sure that my left side's loaded, kind of all the weight stacked on my left side. Once it stays, starts there, it doesn't shift. Okay. So weight shift kills you, okay? And again, I'm looking for sort of one engine. So again, maybe grip down a little bit. And here is going to be really where I'm not going to use my arm. So my address position is going to be a replication, a replica of what I want to do at impact, okay? So at impact, I want to have my hands just slightly leaning forward of the ball. All right, so I make sure that I catch it nicely off the bounce. OK, and once I've set that, I'm not going to change it. So I don't want any wrist set mm -hmm. and I don't want to be sort of having the feeling oh, I'm pulling the club down. So that's my impact position. And my engine is just my chest and arms working as a unit. Right. OK, so my finish position really should be the same as I was in address, but more rotated through with my chest. OK. OK. So I'll show you one and then you can have a go. So wait a little bit more on that left side. Once it's started there, it stays there. Chest and arms as a unit. Lovely. Almost hit the pin. Yeah, and there I play a really precise shot, you know, quite difficult to pitch on the front of the green. But I've only got one moving part. Mm. Okay. Okay, one Makes moving sense. part. So, uh, you know, when you're practicing this, Anna, use different clubs. You know, that didn't roll very much, it stopped pretty quickly. Yeah. Right, there might be other situations where you'd like to pitch the middle of the green and let it release. So, you use different clubs. Okay? Lots of options, aren't there? The, the, the one technique and then lots of options, yeah. sort of, this is the science bit. Yeah. And then the art of the art of playing all of these is endless experimentation. Makes sense. OK, so, so weight on my left. Weight on the left. Really feel your arms on your chest there and your arms and chest as one unit. OK, a little smoother than that. Yeah. Let's have the we brush on the, the ground. We'll keep your chest down. There we go. There it is. Okay. okay. So I think that finish position, Anna, is going to be a little bit shorter on this. You're, you look like you've sort of got a full follow through. Okay. Okay. So just one more where you really feel like it's there. So that shaft's pointed sort of at the hole. There we go. There. There. Got it. All right. Let's go for it. Ah, oh, perfect. Not bad at all. That's excellent. So it's a really compact action. Yeah. All right. You're trying to have the fewest moving parts possible. OK, really make it very, very stable and then use the different clubs so that you can get different clubs to give you different shots, different amounts of roll when it hits on the green. Okay. But always one stable action. Wonderful. Keeping okay. it all together. Very simple. Doesn't have to be complicated. Complicated is no good. Thank you very much.